something is wrong. Its stench lingers in the air, wafting up from the shadows of the confluence. I remember this sensation. The creeping whispers. Putrid oil on water. Taken corruption seeps into my lair, as it once did into me. Morris Tekyuns expect another egg will enter our reality soon. Cut the strings of those taken puppets as you traverse the confluence. As I said before, Oryx's bargain with me has expired. I owe him nothing. The same holds true for the witness. If it seeks to take something from me without reaching an accord, then I will reclaim what is mine with vengeance in my heart. Make haste. Reach my offspring before the Taken. Terranus's sacrifice must not have been made in vain. Guardian, we have reason to believe the next egg could be in danger. Taken corruption has infected the confluence. It's being drawn in through a breach between Eleusinia and the Dreaming City. I feel it. This is not a disorganized swarm. It is a concerted attack. Maybe they've rallied around a field leader. One the Guardian can target to scatter them to the winds. Find them, my wrath. And see it done. Vermin in my lair. Their wants echo of the walls. They wish to corrupt my kin. They do not heed my will or know me. I cannot restrain their hunger. You never did. I kept them in check. I can feel your desire. It's revenge. Wrath of the Queen. You walk these sully halls and see your stagnant years of toil. It is like a game, isn't it? One you simply must continue testing. Why not let me help you? I can free us. I'd rather fight another thousand cycles and watch you starve. So, Rick. You awoke and never trust my good intentions. Pity. They blighted the air itself. Your queen is correct. Corruption bleeds into this city from her throne. A poisoned rain built on the edge of envenomed knives. Why risk slipping? You wish the dreaming city safe? To walk your realm again? Scrawl it on your wall if you must. And let me make it real. You cannot tempt us with shadows. I would tempt you with anything to protect my whims. stabilized pathways of the confluence much like ascendant beacons in the ley lines they'll need to be relit and the taken hold their fuel
You've helped me. My species will live on because of you. Why not forgive like you have the prince? We can help each other more. Every Corsair I've watched die knowing it was coming. Your help would be a mockery of their sacrifice. We both want our kind to be free. Simply say it. Silence! Each of your thousand tongues be still. Gratitude is all we wish to hear from Riven this day. My thanks, you have. There it is, the beast that hunts my young. Erase this intruder from my lair. So, the Taken do have a field commander.
knight bearing Zivu Arath's mark. She must still hold sway over the Taken. But not all of them. Whatever the Guardians did to her, her power must be waning. My egg. What has become of my wind? It's polluted by the Taken's corruption, but intact. <laughs> you recover one of my brood only to let another suffer for your cause. And for this, you demand gratitude. Contain yourself. We have the egg. Petra, Guardian, return with it, and I will see if its corruption can be reversed. I have no love for Riven, and no complete trust of an Ahamkara's predatory nature. But we need that final wish fulfilled. A bargain with Riven cannot be altered, perhaps not even by her. And we owe her all of the clutch. Guardians have freed Tekiuns from taken influence before. The effort and circumstances were extraordinary, but perhaps it can be done again. In our war with the Taken and the Dreaming Halls, we found that Taken ontology, when faced with itself, feeds on itself. Following that principle, you should be able to find a coalescence of Taken Essentia in the Ascendant Realm. Theoretically, we could use it to cleanse the egg. That's all the strategy I can offer you, I'm afraid. Your tenacity in this is appreciated and appropriate. If we fail here, Riven loses an egg. But we lose our path to the witness. And all roads thereafter.
shape which depends on nothing but itself. Do you see the profundity of that concept? Sense the recurrent hunger collapsing in on itself. If left alone, do you think a corrupted egg would produce a whim like Riven? Would it retain control of itself? Or would it be a beast whose hunger could never be satiated? And is there any difference between the two? Petra is waiting. Meet her and let us placate the dragon in our midst. Shiro Chi and the others have made good use of the Taken Essentia you obtained. The spell to cleanse the egg has been prepared, but it requires paracausal fuel to ignite. Riven could provide us with the spark herself, but we can't trust her not to take advantage. In her current state, she might be unable to, even if she won't admit it. I'd take it myself, but I've hurled expletives at its mother and made too many wishes out loud during this operation. For all we know, that's how the great hunt was begun. Instead, you could allow the egg to feed on your desire as a catalyst to jumpstart the spell. It should be perfectly safe. This Ahamkara is not yet born. You're not making a true bargain. And we have no other choices. Head to Riven's lair and focus on what you crave of the outcome. Let's hope we don't end up with another curse. What have you come to claim, dear guardian? The Taken haunt these halls once again. This is a fortuitous intersection of events for us. With what you recovered and my incantations, we are ready. Press forward. Keep in your mind the desire to cleanse the corruption. The tiny whim in that egg won't be able to resist your paracausal desire. They will make it reality, and in turn draw the poison out to be fused with the essentia you carry.
working. Now all that remains is to stay the course and break this taken advance. Final foe awaits.
taken incursion has been halted, and you've reaped all that was needed to drain their poison from Riven's egg. Now, she cannot deny us any longer. Let us return Riven's whim to its new nest. I am eager to hear if the Techiuns are close to our next alignment. I have ascertained the path the witness took, but the veil alone cannot safely reconstruct it. What stops you? Instability. The veil traces the shape of our consciousness, but that shifts as fluidly as our thoughts do. It is as though we alter the path by observing it. None would survive the crossing. I can grant passage. Sabathun's wish can weave the ley lines into the veil, entangle them for a moment. But you will not send an army on the wings of a wish. Only one. One? Explain this deception. You've done me a great many services, a warden's mind. I'll grant you the ultimate Ahamkara courtesy. The complete truth. Savathun's wish grants one singular passage, no more. You knew from the beginning. You sought to twist our aspirations as your kind always does. How many of my clutch would you have saved had you been privy to the limitations of our arrangement? Play your part lest I shape you into a trinket of caged hunger to be forgotten in the Guardian's vault. I am your helpless prisoner. What other part would you wish I play? I cannot change Sabathun's intent. Then what use are you to me? Mara, one may be all we need. I am being transparent, kind even. It could always be worse, as you know. This is our only way to pursue the witness. One to send. This simplifies things. What if... Yes. Uh, Guardian, excuse me, I believe I'm... I'm... on to something. One to send, she said. I believe the witness had found a point of weakness and exploited that point to pierce the traveler's defenses. But the witness did not gain entrance through an attack. It parried. There was no need to breach a door because through the traveler's resistance, the way was left open. Its blast was meant to expel, but the witness redirected the flow of that intent with its own, using the veil. If Riven can imprint the ley lines into the veil, send one of our own to the other side without invitation, we can open the door. Once open, Guardian, the path to it matters not. Only that we're now able to cross the threshold. The veil will flow to that point around any obstacle. I told you I was on to something. It sounds simple in retrospect to use the ley lines as means of travel as we have before. But they do not touch the traveler, nor the veil, and not even Mara can command them to do so. 
It may seem as though Riven promises more than is possible, but that is the foundation of a wish. We must yield to our disbelief and give ourselves over to chance. In that unknown venture, in discovery, the path forward is revealed. One egg remains. Then all our integument risks, our layered depths to this cause. Finally, their worth will be realized. Thanks to Maura's efforts, the egg was cleansed of its corruption and saved. The irony is not lost on me. I suppose I should thank her, though she may not be receptive to my gratitude at the moment. Maura will soon recognize that it was a gift for me to divulge what I did now, rather than when the wish is made. Perhaps she already has. Even an Ahamkara's power has its limits. It is beyond my ability to alter the path that the witness opened. Savathun knew this, which is why she crafted her wish to make use of the ley lines instead. Always so clever. And the witness. Its ambition knows no equal. This final shape that it seeks is not unlike a wish itself. One that would forever erase the difference between desire and reality. Anathema to my kind. I will not have my progeny suffer such an existence. Continue securing my lair and gathering my clutch. Mara was right about one thing. Like with the portal, I cannot alter the terms of our bargain. Collect all of the eggs, or the wish cannot be granted, even if I desire it. Achieved by threatening Riven. Had I not been there to stop you. Osiris, I admit I was angry. I'm seldom able to express my emotions openly. But I had no intention of harming Riven. I only wanted her to believe I might. Perhaps you could warn me first. I was worried you lost sight of our goal. Have I ever been one to miss the forest for the trees? Quite the opposite. While I tend to find myself mired in the details of the leaves. Both sorts are necessary. Your eyes on the fight before us. And mine on the horizon. How do you see the elm so clearly? Even within the infinite forest, I could not predict as you do. Clairvoyance is a charade. The ground shifts beneath us as we walk. We manage best when we make our own stepping stones. You know better than most how many times we've had to adjust our methods to achieve victory. My death at Saturn to pierce Oryx's defenses. Countless recalculations against the Vec. Stealing Sabathun's secrets from within. The planting of the Silver Tree on Io. I took some convincing on that. But it truly was the beginning. Sagira's death. Crow's choices, your new perspective, none of these were part of the plan. Each adjustment came at a cost. I wonder what costs the witness is yet to extract from us. Whatever they are, we will. 